Senator, the carbon tax could cost each farmer $150,000 per year. And that's before the next second carbon tax comes next month. This tax on tax on tax drives up the cost yes, of food production. That's so absurd. It's simple math. If it costs a farmer more to grow food, it's going to What are they going to say if there's more for, wildfires next family. summer it's after, after the latest carbon tax? Farms at I mean, risk. No where do their minds no go? Food, Mr. Speaker. So How insane is this? How do they facilitate the insanity further? But they continue to do so. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In this country, rage farming is not an agricultural policy. On this side of the house, we believe in investing in farmers. No, what they believe in is making it impossible for farmers to buy fertilizer, so they're producing less crops. So we're on the verge of not only being unable to sell those crops in the worldwide market, but we're being unable to feed our own population. And this is what the liberal policy is leading to, and this is the next catastrophe that's coming. On that side of the house, they still don't have a climate plan. That's right. The honorable member for Lambton. Do they have a food plan on the liberal side? That's what really should be bothering them. People are not staying up late at night worrying about climate change. They're worrying about being able to feed themselves and their families. And that's what the liberals will never admit. And groceries just skyrocket. Farmers pay carbon tax to get their crops from the field to their warehouse, from the warehouse to the grocer's warehouse. Then the grocers pay carbon tax to get the food to the grocery store. And then families pay carbon tax to drive to the grocery store to buy their food. This tax on tax on tax, it never ends. And it's increasing the cost of our food. There's no common sense in this. So when no, will there is no common sense in this. That's why it's insanity. It's beyond not being common sense. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, as the honorable member knows, farm fuel are exempted from any price on pollution. As the honorable member knows, and I would encourage her price to speak to canola pollution. farmers, as she would know that the clean fuel standard is great for farmers. We started. I, I, I just repeat their lies. We were doing incessantly. so well. We're doing so well. I'm just going to ask everybody. No, oh, speaker, is out of mind. Order. 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 Now, let's all listen to each other, not while we're shouting, but just while one person is speaking, and then one person will ask a question, one person will answer. That's the way it's supposed to work. Well, we must be getting to the end regardless. Mr. Speaker, a noisy plan is not a climate plan. We believe on this side of the House that farm fuel should be exempted on farms, and they are, Mr. Speaker. We also believe that the clean fuel standard will bring great opportunities for farmers, and especially canola farmers. I would encourage yeah, them we're getting to Yeah, we're getting comments from people who know what a scam this is. And see if they're supportive of and this it's all about transfer of wealth. I hope you're enjoying this channel as much as I enjoy putting the material on here. This is not just about politics. I sing some of my favorite songs from the Great American Songbook. And you can also watch my latest show where we do some of the news you're not going to hear anywhere else. But please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If you want to be part of this station, please be a subscriber. We want you.